strawberries. So as you guys might already know, the Valentine's Day update or the Everfriend update is out in Royal High. One of the main things of this update, I don't know if it shows in the shop yet, but the Valentine's Day arrows have been changed to, okay, it doesn't show it in the shop, but it does show it in the dorms that the Valentine's Day halos have been swapped to Everfriend halos for this Everfriend season that they changed to Everfriend. If you didn't already know, it's not the Valentine's Day update anymore. It's the Everfriend update. Another thing in this Everfriend update is the whole map will be changed to flowers. There's flowers over here. There's flowers over there. And there's also like candles here. And the Christmas tree is gone. You cannot get the timber badge anymore. Now, if you go all the way up here, you will find a bear. There's so many bears across this map, but this one is my favorite. Bear. I think you can still, I don't know, can you still get this badge? I don't know, because I already have it. But I hope you can, but I doubt it because it's a chimney badge. And that kind of corresponds with winter, but it might, it might, it might, I don't know. So the whole map of the castle is changed to Glitterfest. I mean to ever friend and if you look in here it looks like all the other areas are going back to normal and they are not getting a valentine's day update if you look in there and this is the only place that seems like it's getting the Valentine's Day update because the dorms don't even have anything in it, but it has an update to have the thing. So the only difference with the menu from the normal menu is the foam around it has rose petals to match with the rose petals over here. Now, if we want to check out the new dorm that could be something too. Okay. So, since we've never seen, uh, why is my hair not loading? And why is nothing loading? Oh, now I'm bald. Okay, I see hair. Um, outer space. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not a dorm furniture, so it should still be loading. But we've never seen the castle dorms before. Well, we have, but we've never seen, like, this version of them. So, I'm pretty sure they're getting new updates. I don't know if they're getting a Valentine's Day update because I don't know if this pink rug is corresponding to Valentine's Day or if it's just going to be here all year because we've never really seen the dorms before. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and enter the dorms. If it's going to load, sorry for my really horrible thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I think it loaded. I think. I, I hope. So we're gonna go in the dorm furniture, and these are the new Everfriend furniture. <gasps> wow, there's so much. But we're only gonna look at the dorm furniture, not the old stuff. Because there's no new items that you can wear. 
at this point in Glitter Frost, not Glitter Frost, I keep saying Glitter Frost, Everfrom, this can't, this fire is really long. Okay. That should be good enough if I talk loud, okay. So the first one that we're going to look at is this paper rose for 200 diamonds. Let's look at it on our wall. Its toggles are to glow and not glow. And it is colorable. I don't really think it's worth the 200 diamonds unless you really want a nature dorm. For the next thing, it's this that wraps around your pillow, your pillars. This right here. This lap wraps around your pillar, forming some roses. I really think that is worth it if you're making a nature dorm and you want roses on your pillars. These are leaf petals. This would be so cute if these leaf petals were all over the floor of your dorm. Okay, so next is the rose line, which this, I honestly think, is the best out of all the items. It has so many cute toggles. I mean, not really that many, but, you know. These wings. These are wing candles for two thousand diamonds. Really don't think they're worth it. Okay, well. Are you going to okay there you go? It's found. Okay. This looks the exact same as the goddess of triumph rose. It's the roses, so oh. Excuse me, I don't know. I don't know. I try it and put it right next to my body so it's Yeah, they look basically the exact same. <clears throat> we'll look at all the other things. Okay, here's something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's old. That's old. <laughs> okay. This is new. That's so cute. You all know how much. I love strawberries. So we're gonna check out the toggles. Ooh, okay. You can have chocolate or no chocolate. Oh, that's so cute. But guys, if you just wanted it for the little strawberry, you can get the scented erasers and change them to the strawberry. I think this is the last item, and it is the jar of flowers. And unless you have the diamonds, you should not. I don't think it's worth 20,000 diamonds, because a few sets like the Pop Star set you can get for 20,000 in the trading hub or less. So I really don't think that is a good use of your diamonds. But if you do have every item in the game or something, and you really want that, then... Oh! Someone knocked on my door. And they, they probably did ding dong ditch. So I'm not even going to ask here. But that should be everything in the Valentine's Day shop. Just checking. Okay, yep, it is. Let's see if the shop is updated here. Nope. But all the new sets are back on sale. If you guys missed 
the Darling Valentina set and don't have it, it is back on sale along with um, the Mon Cherry sets. Sorry if, I don't, if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. This one is back. Oops. Probably gotta put the name in here. Okay. This one is back as well as the opposites attract. Oh, I don't have a spell. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay. It is back also, if you guys missed that. So all of the new Valentine's Day sets should be back on sale as long as the 58 days are up as well as all of the new Valentine's Day Accessories should be back on sale for all of you guys to buy. Bye, everyone.